In this video, we will solve a challenge which involves escaping from a sandbox application to execute shell commands inside the server. This came from Hack the Box Code Machine, which I recently did. So, we have here an online code editor where you can run Python programs. Typically, we would want to execute shell commands in this manner. We will import first the OS module. Then we will call the system method passing the command we want to run. Let's try running this. It denied us because of a restricted keyword. So, let's figure out how the blacklisting works. Let's delete the second line. We are still denied. So, probably the import keyword is not allowed. Let's try by slowly putting some characters. It is okay so far. But when we complete the full word, it starts to detect it. How about if we use uppercase? Same thing is happening. So, it looks like that the backend logic is converting our inputs into lowercase, then it compares it to a list of forbidden keywords. If any of our code contains at least one from those keywords, the whole request is denied. So, if we try the common dangerous functions and modules, we would expect same error. An important module in Python that is implicitly imported by applications during runtime is the sys module. In this case, the site is running in G-Unicorn and Flask, so we expect this behavior. We can use this on our advantage. We can print the available methods and functions of a module using this command. As we see, it produces a list of items. Let's explore and find some interesting methods. The main thing we must be looking for is this modules attribute. This is a dictionary that will tell us what are the modules that has been loaded or imported by the application. If we loop through the items, we will see all available modules saving us time from guessing. This typically includes the OS module, but the problem is we cannot use it since it is blacklisted. Let's go to a Python shell to understand this better. For example, let's import OS module. After that, it will now be present under the dictionary items. If we want to run a function, another way of doing it is to call it via the sys module. We first access it as a dictionary item. Then we call the method we want, which is system. In our case, we cannot use it in that manner because OS will be detected as a forbidden keyword. So we need to trick the server by doing some modifications. We can reverse it to avoid being blacklisted. Then when calling it, we will reverse it again using this slicing technique. We do the same thing for the method we are calling, but we are not done yet. We still encounter a syntax error. The problem here is this must be a method object, but we tried to make it a string object since we need to slice and reverse it. To fix that issue, we need to use this built-in Python function. What it does is it allows us to access the attribute or method of a module. During access, it will automatically convert it into a proper method object, which we can now call without any issues. We don't see an output here because it might be suppressed by the application or we need to print it. Let's try an HTTP callback to our attacker web server. And it worked. Aside from reversing the string, we can perform concatenation to avoid detection. We can cut the word into half. Then same thing for the method we are calling. This still works as expected. These are just one of the few ways on how to bypass logic filtering like this. There are more techniques and I recommend to explore on your own and share it in the comments below. I hope you learned something today. If you find my content valuable, please support me by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. See you on the next one.